G'day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So something quite a bit different for you today. This here in front of me is from Creality. It's the Falcon A1. This is a laser cutter and engraver. Now this is definitely not gonna be a review because I know nothing about these units. This is gonna be more of a user experience video, kind of taking it out of the box and seeing how easy it is to use. Cause apparently these are pretty easy to set up and use. This has a lot of safety features. It's a completely enclosed unit. It has venting, its own venting, which you can run through an optional air filter, or you can vent it right out of a window. Now, I usually don't do these type of products on my channel. I get uh, emails every day from companies wanting me to take a look at their products, review them, demonstrate them. And uh, for a lot of them, I just turn them down, you know, just not interested. Uh, but this kind of did interest me. It piqued my interest. It's something that I had looked at before in the past. And uh, when they reached out to me, it's like, yeah, definitely send it over. Now, I'll probably fast forward and cut through a lot of these boring parts. Um, we'll just kind of get it unboxed here. And then uh, we'll jump to the next segment. Now, this laser engraver can engrave all different types of materials. It can do wood, leather, different types of plastics. Uh, metal, cork, and uh, yeah, so we're going to test out on a bunch of different types of materials. So you can see there it is there in the box. It's, uh, you know, it's a decent size. It's not overly big. And like I said, it's completely enclosed. Uh, the other nice thing about this particular unit is that it has a built-in camera, uh, we'll, which we'll take a closer look at once we get into it. But that camera can really help with lining things up because it's going to give you a preview of the material underneath it. That way you know it's going to be exactly where you want it to be. So we have it out of the box here. There's some protective film that we need to remove. We wore protective film on the top. And there's actually two access points. The lid lifts up. And there you can see there's the camera. And we also have access there on the front. All the parts and accessories are located inside. Power brick, some cables. We have a small venting hose. So this can be connected to the air purifier that is an optional accessory that you can purchase. And uh, that's great for small apartments or if you can't, you know, if you have it located in a room with no windows, you can just put it through that to get rid of the smoke. This is the air pump, I do believe. So that's basically it. You can see it's already completely assembled. We just have to plug everything in. There's software that I'm gonna download and install to my computer. And uh, that's gonna help us with designing different things and setting it all up. So at this point, what we're gonna do now is plug it all in and uh, we're gonna fire it up. All right, so we're gonna continue on getting everything set up here. And they include everything you need, all the tools, all the parts. So the first thing we need to do is connect the exhaust pipe. And as mentioned, you can vent this out of a window if you have your unit set near a window, or you can purchase their optional air purifier. And uh, that's something I may look into actually. There is a clamp included to hold it on securely. So we've got the exhaust hooked up. Now we're gonna hook up all the other cabling. Uh, the first thing is plug it into power. Power brick there is included and that attaches right there like that. We have a USB-C cable. This is how we connect the laser engraver to our computer. USB-C on this end. The other end is USB-A. If your computer doesn't have a USB-A connector, they actually include an adapter. So you can go from USB-C to USB-C. And the next is the air pump tube. I'm gonna put one end in there. We have the air pump here. Gotta pull that little rubber stopper out. just like that. And then the air pump has its own power cable that needs to be plugged into the machine. So that is that. Now, lastly, before we plug it into a computer, we have to unlock it. There's a lock safety on it. So if you have kids or other people using your computer, you don't want them accidentally doing any type of engraving. You can keep it in the lock position or the unlock position. 
So we're all powered up now, ready to go. So I'm going to reposition things here and get it connected to our laptop. So we've got everything hooked up and I've gone ahead and downloaded their free software, the Falcon Design Space. As you can see, when you launch it, we have some templates, different projects that we can make. And uh, we're just going to do some tests at first. Up here at the top, we have our home, but then we can go over to Canvas. So this is where we can create designs or import designs. Uh, but a few things we need to do first. Uh, you can see up here we have a camera. As mentioned, there's a camera in this unit that can make it really useful when lining up different projects. But we do have to calibrate it. So if we click on camera, you can see it says uncalibrated. So we're going to go to camera calibration. So let's go ahead here. Um, I'm going to set it to three millimeters because a lot of the wood that I have is three millimeter. So let's go to calibration. You can see the camera's turned on. So we're going to place this inside the unit and we will follow the instructions. So we're going to put it in the first position there and I'm going to hit get image. There we go. Now we're going to move it to the next position. About like that. Hit get image. We'll keep moving along here. So now we're going to place a wooden board inside of it. We're going to kind of roughly center it there. And this is going to do a test burn just to make sure everything is calibrated correctly. Now we have to close the door because it has a safety feature. It won't allow it to start if the door is open. So now what I'm going to do is click on frame. And you can see it moving there. Basically that's just going to make sure that everything is framed correctly. just essentially make sure that the laser is going to be on the wood and not anywhere else. So that looks good. So now we can hit start and it's actually going to do the engraving here. You can see it's a little smoky in there. Not bad. I don't have it vented out of the window right now. Hopefully the uh, smoke alarm doesn't go off. So we can go ahead and close that down now. And now at this point, we're ready to start engraving. Now I'm going to just flip that wood over. We'll kind of roughly center it in there. So at this point, we can make a design. They have clip art, all kinds of stuff. We've got a picture of a horse here. Let's make it a little bit smaller. There's different things we can do. We can do a fill engraving. You can see over here at the side. Or you could do line engraving. Um, we're going to maybe do a test fill engraving there. And this is where we set the thickness of the wood, the type of material. As you can see, it's a whole list of different materials here we can choose from. We've got wood, bamboo, paper, acrylic, metal, leather, perfume bottle, brand badge and uh, we can set the thickness. So right now I'm using three millimeter wood. Over here on the side, we can set the positioning. Now when it goes to positioning on the wood, we can move this head around and we can set current position or absolute coordinates. And I'll show you what the difference is there here in a minute. But before we start, what we can do, we can utilize the camera that we just calibrated. So let's go over to camera and we're gonna take a photo. You can see right now currently where I have the horse is off the wood. So now I can bring the horse over. I can reposition it. And that's where these uh, position settings come in. So if I was to hit current position, you can see the head of the laser printer is down in the bottom right hand corner. So that's where it will start. Whereas if we choose absolute chords, it's going to automatically move to the top left-hand corner here and do the engraving. Now I'm going to close this door here again. And before we start, again, we can hit frame. And that way we can watch the laser head. And it's going to give us a preview of where it's going to do the engraving. So we know it's going to be well within the wood. So once we're done, we can now hit start. And it's going to go ahead. 
And again, I don't have this connected to a purifier or going out the window, so it could get a little smoky in here. Fire alarm may go off. It's not overly smoky. You can see a little bit there on camera, but uh, you get that kind of wood burning smell. It's actually quite a pleasant smell. So we'll just go ahead and uh, I'll let that do its thing and uh, we'll check it out when it's done. All right, so it has finished, we're all done. And uh, let's take a look at it and see how it turned out. And there we go, actually did a really good job. And that's actually pretty amazing. Like I said, I'm a complete noob. I've never used one of these machines before. And within 10 minutes, we had this thing hooked up. We had a design in the software. And uh, you can do more, like this thing is actually a cutter too. So we could have cut that out into a circle. And uh, yeah, really interesting. Now there's a lot more to do with the software, all kinds of advanced things. Like I said, I am brand new. I've never used it before. So I have a lot of learning to do. But what I do want to do here quickly is um, do a leather keychain. I bought these on Amazon. They're uh, kind of geared for this kind of thing. And uh, this laser engraver is fully capable of engraving on leather. So what we're going to do is... Uh, open up the design studio again and I'm just going to put air photography on there and uh, yeah so let's get that set up so I am just going to go ahead here and I'm going to place the keychain in there like that for now and we're going to take another picture let's go to camera let's take another photo so you can see we have the um, keychain there and I'm actually just going to straighten it up a little bit so we just updated the photo and uh, you can see that it's straight. But uh, even if it was in there crooked, you can adjust the angle of the text or whatever you're going to put in there. So we're going to put in air photography. Change the size here. Place it there about like that. We can change the font. Like that will maybe find some kind of logo to put on there. How about we do a Canadian maple leaf? I just realized I forgot to do a screen recording. So we can change it back and forth between line engraving and fill engraving. Uh, let's do fill engraving because it'll be a little darker on there, easier to read. And again, we're going to leave it on absolute chords. And uh, the other thing we have to do is select our material. So we're going to go to leather. And I'm going to select brown leather. So there it goes. It moves into position and it's starting the engraving. So there we go, it's all done. And get it to focus there. That actually looks really good. And you can do this on all kinds of objects. They've got metal ones. You can create little animal tags, dog tags, different things like that, uh, because it is able to etch on the metal as well. Uh, flasks, metal water bottles. So you can pretty well customize anything. If you have a nice leather wallet, want to have your name on it or something or design you can easily do so this thing is completely enclosed it's got a lot of safety features built in and when you're loading your material you can access from the top or the bottom so yeah what a really interesting machine here's a few things that i've made here now keep in mind i have never used one before i was able to make these without any experience the machine is pretty well plug and play you know, a little bit that you have to do there to calibrate the camera, but it gives you step-by-step -step instructions. It's really easy to do. And you could do a lot of different things. They have built-in projects that you can make. As mentioned, it is a cutter as well. So here's a sample of one of the projects. So a little ruler set. And as you can see, it cuts it right out. Nice, clean edges. And um, but yeah, so it's a lot of fun. They've got a lot of built-in projects that you can make if you're into arts and crafts, or if you just want to customize things, it can do a lot of different materials. As you can see, I've done wood here, leather. This is more of a, um, bought this at the dollar store. It's not really leather. It's kind of like a rubbery paper, uh, but the machine is capable of engraving 
on different types of cardboard and paper. You're able to do glass. Now, I haven't been able to test that because there is a compound you have to put on first, basically to absorb the laser. Otherwise, the laser will just go through it. But as you can see, it does a really good job. Nice, clean lines. And uh, even here on some metal, this is stainless steel. I actually did a really good job with that. So you can get creative, create dog tags. If you have pets or you want to start a side hustle, creating custom things, you know, it's something really easy to get into. So yeah, that is the Creality Falcon A1 laser engraver and cutter. Really interesting. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. And uh, yeah, a little bit different for this channel, but I just wanted to share that with you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it had value. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next one.